with the GCFA linebacker of the decade. Ah. Also the coach, um, defensive coordinator of the GCFA National League All-Star. How you doing, Coach Gator? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. We'll be a little better if we got the win today, but... It's an all-star yeah, game, Gabe. Like yeah, I said, y'all played man. three quarters of hard football, fourth yeah. quarter, everybody took it easy. So tell me now, everybody wants to know like LeBron James. He <laughs> left, went to the Miami Heat. Are you coming back or are you going to keep us in suspense for a while? Uh, I'm going to keep it in suspense. Uh, but from now, I'm going to Brent Favre to say 99%. I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not coming back. You're going to Brent Favre us now? I'm going to Brent Favre. Uh, so when will we find out for sure if Gator McCall will be making a comeback? Uh, we got to do a personal interview on ESPN. <laughs> uh, we got to do it like LeBron. It's probably going to be probably, I'm going to probably make my decision probably mid-December or right, right after Christmas. All right, boy. What, what, what keeps it so hard? What keeps it the camaraderie right, going, coming in and coming back? What makes you want to come back? Oh, man, the, the reason reason why I would want to come back is because we lost the way we lost last this year. Man, we had a hard-fought game against the Fort Bend Storm. Okay. We lost on a holding pin in the end And one zone. of the Storm members are sitting right here with you. Yeah, man. Yeah, Artis, yeah. Artis. Yes, Artis. What makes you want to retire? Oh, man, just the, the whole daily grind, everyday grind, getting up, going to go do it, all the banging on Saturday. Okay. Having to get up on Sunday, you know, then just every day going to work and everything. So Just make sure when you get ready to make the decision, we do an exclusive interview. All right. Gator sure, McCoy, man. linebacker of the decade. Nobody can take away what you did here for the GCFA. Right, Thanks, man. Gator. Appreciate it, man. Artis, what's going on, hey, man? How you doing? That's pretty good. Man, y'all had fun out there today, it looks man, like, that was Artis. Ball game. I like that. We played, we had fun. We came out here. We had to get the win, but hey. It's an all-star game, can't win, you know, hey. And Fort Bend fun. walked away with a lot of a lot. MVP to trophies. What does that say about this team here in the it first year? We're in the GCFA for the first time, we for real. Wait, so next season, it's over with. You feel me? Y'all got all the way to the Super Bowl, played a damn yeah. good game. Uh, Should have won it in regulation if, if, if field goal kicker hits the field goal. Went in the yeah. overtime, but the atmosphere, the feeling after it was all over and you had to sit back and think about it, what goes on through your head about this season? I mean, that's just... 2010 All-Star Game, Dr. Starsky Lone. This may be his final All-Star Game. We never know. Just like LeBron, we're going to ask you, have you decided yet what you're going to do yet, Starsky? Nah, I mean, I, I pretty much I already thought about it. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and give it one more year. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to go for it one more time. So you're not going to keep us in awe just like LeBron James did. You're going to come back for your final season and possibly get that championship. Possibly get that championship and everything right here. Then a winner, don't come in my interview again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't matter. Watch out, don't they? Don't they me? Yeah, don't definitely, like definitely. I mean, you know, as long as God grace me with, you know, the ability to wake up every morning and do everything that I do, definitely. Who you got on the side of you right here now, Starsky Long? It seems like they, they just want to keep coming in your interviews. He's for me and Storm. And I brought, obviously, now it's all right. It's a Let's introduce yourself to them. That's my man right there, the Muscle. What's up, Muscle? How you doing, man? Going, baby. Tell me what's going on out there. Look like yeah, everybody's yeah, having fun. We just out here to have fun. You know, we want to win. It's football. Everybody want to be, want to be competitive. You know, we're going to come up with the victory. We got a little something, something for them in the second half. My man back there, quarterback, watch how we do it, you know? Okay, then. Okay, well, talk to me. How you doing, man? Oh, I am the newcomer of the league. <laughs> Number five. Well, Hurricanes quarterback. Nope. Little bit. Number seven, you know what's what up, Doc? How's everything going? I start that uh, second half off at quarterback. I'm going to show y'all what's up. Starts in a game like this, it's just basically fun. Nobody's trying to get hurt. You're getting the mess with your players and everything. But it's looking pretty easy out there for both teams. What's going on? I mean, like you say, it's just a situation where it's fun. I mean, people out there just trying to play ball, get a little run in, and, you know, we go from there. Artis, who wins the game? Uh, NFC, baby, all day. You know, the American the League say they're the best conference. Sorry, they feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up and won a championship, you, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't call it the best. I call it the little grace of God. That's what I call it. That's what it is. Well, guys, guys, give him a little round of Guys, real quick, real quick, quick, after the game, the award show and everything, Starsky, you won quarterback of the year, you won MVP. Who do you think is the forerunner this year for the MVP of the league? I mean, uh, honestly, I, I got to say, I mean, just on the play of the year, with, you know, plays this year, I mean, it's it's, it's got to go with either Steve or Lance. I mean, okay. that's just my opinion, but I could be wrong. Okay, then. You got a, any comments on player of the year? Player of the year, man. Whoever get it, congratulations. You know, they had a hell of a season. Everybody had a hell of a season. So whoever got it, they deserved it, you know? Would you like to see it come home? I would love that. I would love to see it come back to Fort Bend. Okay, all right. They get to the NFC. Anybody on the NFC get it, I'm at? Player of the year. Uh... You know, I'm going to keep it home, school. I'm going to go me and my boy Mike Cornell, you know what I'm saying? Mike, but, hey, Mike's got hey, my pick already, hey, I think. Do, hey, don't pull out the Hurricanes. We're going we gonna to take one award, either offensive player of the year or MVP one of the two. Okay. Get one of them. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, Cedric the Entertainer, how you doing, Doc? I'm good, man. Starsky say everybody's just having fun. You know, y'all still going to come away with the victory. Say ain't nobody taking too serious. You're meshing and everything. What's going on out there? 
Oh man, we just need to come together. You know what I mean? I still I'm gonna say, continue to preach that together word, man. You gotta stay together as a team. Offensive okay. line, defense line. I say it's all store, man. We just gotta open up and have fun. Just get the rocks out of our ass and just have fun. Guys, I'll see y'all after the game. Have a good one. All right. See you later, Starsky. All right. All right. You learned coming into this 2010 season. What did you learn from this year? Me, I learned that anything can happen. We've been down by two touchdowns with two minutes left, came back and won the game. So, hey, uh, miracles happen every day. It's like a Cinderella story for us. We came into the league. Nobody knew us. We came out now. I mean, now everybody knows who we is. So. How does number 44, the muscle, gets better during the offseason? How do you get better, RT? Me, I mean, like I've been you, doing, you play like a beast out there today, RT. Dude, uh, hey, every time I step on the field, 100%. Uh, just stay in shape, conditioning, you know, I train with MMA. Got to stay on top of my game, get better and better every day. Come so back, make something happen If we year. got some players out there, some people out there, maybe looking to be Fort Bend Storm in the future, how do they get in contact or how do they become a storm? You can just go on Fort Bend Storm. I mean, just, you can go to FortBendStorm.com or you can go on Facebook, search Fort Bend Storm. I'm behind the Facebook page. Okay. And I'll, I'll give you all the information you need to know. Okay, then, all right. What if people just want to get in contact with you, the muscle? Hey, you just go to Facebook. You type in the muscle, you'll see me just like that. <laughs> so, hey, simple as that. Uh, Ortiz, congratulations, man. Good Appreciate season. You. Thanks for everything. Who you got standing next to you, Ortiz? Man, my nigga from Fort Arthur. Fort Arthur. In the house, they Vic. call him Little Vic right here. Man, tell me, talk about the game. Y'all had fun out there today. What was yeah, going we had on? Fun, you know what I'm saying? Shit, everybody got a little playing time. Everybody got to show their stuff. You know what I'm saying? And got some different looks. Port Arthur with a pretty good season. What can we expect next year? Going into 2011, like right now, how are you going to start off with this season? Come on in, guys. Oh, shit. We, got, we got big plans. You know what I'm saying? Everybody come together. You know, play as a team, we're doing something special, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all look out for Now, will you be done at the number five next year, or are you going to be done at the number five? Oh, no, I got to get safe, you know what I'm saying? You got to get, you got to get the Vic. All right, then. Well, thanks, man. Good luck. Good luck. I'll see y'all later. All right. All right. Bowler of the Texas Wolverines. Coach, word out on the street is you got a job opportunity to go with the Houston Texans next year. Will you be donning a Texas Wolverine gear, or will you wait? make us wait like LeBron James made his way? What we doing? Will we come back in December and do a live Ustream interview? Well, y'all going to have to wait for the decision. You ain't going to let us know, Coach. We got to no. wait for the decision. Hey, y'all got to wait for the decision. So we're going to get together in December and do a press conference. Is you stand with the Wolverines or are you going back with the Houston or Texas, Houston uh, Texans? All right. We, uh, I'm going to let y'all know in December. That's the Coach David Baller. Coach, thank you, man. Have a good season. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye-bye. All right.